Well, as you can see, I'm talking Japanese dubbing style because the winds were so ferocious down at the beach, you couldn't understand a word I was saying. But I'm using the FT817, running about uh, 3 watts when it's uh, on battery power. And I have a PAC-12 antenna where I can change the taps on the coil depending on the frequency I want to be using. We didn't get a particularly good signal report, a 559. And his name was Esso, ESO, and worked him on 14055 with about 4 watts of power. And just prior to that, um, I worked IK8 SCR in Bosnia, then WJ9B, he was in Florida, uh, G3 ICO in England, YU7 ZAX uh, in Ser Serbia, uh, worked him on sideband, you'll hear him. IZ6 BYV in Italy. I think you, I'm not sure if you'll hear him. And finally, I ended up uh, with a Hungarian station on CW HA6 AG. All uh, pretty, fairly decent signal reports between 559 and 579, and almost all DX uh, because of the salt. Uh, kilowatt 1, Oscar India Kilowatt. Oscar India Kilowatt. Oscar India Kilowatt. Go ahead. Uh, kilowatt 1, Oscar Uniform, Kilowatt 1, Oscar Uniform, is that correct? Oscar India Kilowatt, Oscar India Kilowatt, Oscar India Kilowatt, go ahead. Roger, 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 5 watts, 5 watts, 5 watts, go ahead. Roger, Roger. My name is Bert Bravo Uniform Romeo Tango. Uh, Bert is my name. I am on the beach in Massachusetts. I am on the beach in Massachusetts, about three feet from the water, about one meter from the water. Uh, YU7 Zulu X ray, K1 OIK, QRP. Uh, Roger, Roger. My name is Bert. My name is Bert. Go ahead. Plus a great signal here, great signal here uh, by the water in Massachusetts. Uh, so 73, we see you. YU7 Zebra Echo X ray K1 OIK Cape Cod. It's great, you can work with 5 watts and if you just get by the ocean, you're all set. I have a little bit of a problem here though now, since I started, is the tide is coming in and it's getting closer and closer, so I may have to move. Uh, and temperature is about, uh, about 65 degrees, so quite a bit of wind as you might be able to hear. So, uh, uh, the FT817, great little rig, FT817, great little rig. Uh, extremely sensitive and uh, seems to put out the power and you can uh, with 
you can check the SWR on it by um, it has one, it has many different functions and one of them is checking the SWR. And I changed the taps here uh, on the antenna so I can work different bands. Um, and there is some grounding wires. I shouldn't say grounding wire. I do have some radios that are spread out up here just below me. And uh, I'm about uh, I'm a few feet from the water, not too far. I'll I'll, I'll come pick up the, uh, the tripod and turn it, and you can see exactly how far I am from the water. You can see I'm not too far from the water, and uh, the tide is coming in, so let's hope for, hopefully it won't come in all the way onto me. Take a look at the grounding system. And it's not much of a grounding system, but there are radios that, that you just put right up. Thank <laughs> you. 